Assalamu alaikum, bismillahir rahmanir rahim, in the name of Allah, the most beneficent and the most merciful. Uh, guys, again, I am going to solve question number 5 of AP Calculus past paper 2018, right? And this question is very complicated and, you know, this is a theoretical type of questions, right? So, I am going to explain you this question and then I will tell you the short trick how to solve such questions when you will see this question, right? Okay. So the question is, uh, during uh, evacuation drill, okay, people leave a building at the rate of RT people per minute, where T is the number of minutes since the start of the drill, selected values of RTs are given, which is uh, here, right? And using a right Riemann CF sums. This is very important point. We have right Riemann sum, we have left Riemann sums, okay? I'm not going to tell you right now the details about uh, what is a Riemann sum, but I will explain in my next video, okay? So just I'm going to give you a brief concept of Riemann sum. Means, for example, if you have a curve, right? And we have to find out the areas, okay? So how can we find out the areas using rectangle using trapezoid something like that and we can find out the area so Riemann sum is nothing we have to find the area of a given curve okay so we can just find out using right or left so please be sure when you are going to solve this question in a global exam please watch one or two times three times four times this is right Riemann or the left Riemann right this is very important point okay so with the sub intervals and the data from the table what is the approximations of the number of the people who leave the building during the first 15 minutes of the evacuation drill? So this, this table is given, right? Okay, so here the time is what? The time start from zero, right? When the time was nothing at that time, the pupils was 100, means that you can say the people per minute was 100, right? And then when it is 5, 10, 15, so number of pupils are what? Decreasing, before it was what? 500 when um, after 10 minutes it is 75 and after 15 minutes we have just 55 right so then we the question is uh, can you please uh, tell me the approximations of the number of people who leave the building during the first 15 minutes this is also very important just find just what first you have to find out the keywords of the question right the first 15 minutes okay what you have to see here so you have to make three intervals here the first one is what right Riemann sums. This is the first point, and here you can say uh, the number of the pupils uh, during the evacuation. The people leave the building at the rate of this one. This is the number of minutes since the start of the drill. The selected values of RTs are shown in the table. Okay, what is the sub interval and the data from the table? What is the approximation of the number of pupils who leave the building during the first 15 minutes? the first 15 minutes right the first 15 minutes of the evacuation period okay so we can say we have here three intervals first is what uh, 0 to 5 right we can say first interval is what 0 to 5 right this one the first interval the second one is what 5 to 10 which is the second interval here right and the third one which is uh, 10 to 15 right so i'm going to give you a basic uh, graph of this one so that you can just see everything right so you can say here, I'm going to write down this x-axis, uh, represent here t, the time in minutes, okay? And here, this is what rt, okay? Very simple graph, I'm going to tell you. Uh, and uh, remember one thing, so in zero, it was 100, right? For example, this is zero. Then this is what, five, and then this is what, 10 minutes, and then this is what, 15 minutes, right? Okay, so for example, this is what, the first point was, 0 to 100, so you can say this is 100 point, right? Or you can say 0 to 100. The second point also 5 to 100 means here. You can say 5 to 100, right? And the third one was 10 to 75. To 75 means the point will be something here, okay? So we can say uh, this is 10 to 75. And the last point, which is what, 15, means this is 55, right? So you can say this one, 15 to 55. Okay, so if you say, <coughs> if we are going to draw, okay, 
So you have to find this, this point, right? How will you find this? Uh, we can find out the area. See here, we are just going to make this one. The one rectangle is this one, right? Okay. And here we have to use the right, right side. Okay. For example, this is a rectangle. This is your left point. This is your right point. So you have to assume this part. Here I'm going to mention it, it, it is a right. And the second rectangle is this one. And the width of the rectangle is the same, right? So this is five, this is five, and this is five, and the second rectangle is this one, right? Okay, so we just, because this is what approximation, right? We, we are not going to find out the exact area, but the Riemanns explain you, the Riemanns give you the approximation area, right? <coughs> using the triangles, or uh, using the right angles, okay? using the rectangles so as you can see here this is the first rectangle second rectangle third rectangles okay so the width is what the five and the point we have to take on the right side the right corner right this is the first point is the second point and this is what the third point okay if this is said uh, left Riemann then this point must be here we have to take this point and this point right so we are going to take this point this point and this point okay so how will you find this area here very simple because this is 5 this is also 5 okay so we can just find out the area here we can find this area this area and this area and we can find out a number of people who can just leave from the building okay so here how you find the area of the rectangle length into width right so this is <laughs> the length is how much you can say this is the first point is here 100 we can say 100 and we will multiply it by the width which is always constant 5. The first area we can, we can just find out using 100 multiplied by 5 then plus we can say <coughs> this one, uh, the, this point which is 75 multiplied by what again 5 and plus we can say uh, this is what 55 multiplied by what uh, 5. So this is what 500 you can say this is 500. Okay, and here we can say 75 multiplied by 5, so 5, 5, 25, 2 carry 5, 7, 35, which is 37, and this is what, 5, 5, 25, 2 carry 5, 5, 25 to 27, right? Now we can say we, we have to add them, so this is 500, and 300, and 500, so 3 to 500, and uh, this is how much? 10, 650 and 650 plus 500 this is what 1150 we can say now <coughs> the options the answers I have not mentioned here so the answer which is given is first I'm going to write down the option which is which was given here uh, a is 230 B is uh, one, 150, 1150. The C was, uh, uh, how much it is? 1375. And the last option, which was uh, 2075. So our answer is 1150 people. So we can say answer B is correct. Okay, I hope guys you all understand. Still, you have a problem, you should try, just write down the comments. Whenever we have a time, we will discuss it with you. Assalamu alaikum, bye bye, take care.